pretend to have your attention for just a few moments. My ex-husband, my new boyfriend, and their divorced attorney are going to show you the safety features of the Boeing 737 series. It's been a long day for me. To properly fasten your seatbelt, slide the flat end of the buckle. To release, lift up on the buckle. Position your seatbelt tight and lower across your hips like my grandmother wears her support bra. If you can land, you want to take your toys in your home. There's eight ways to get there. Two forward exit doors, two wing window exits, two rear exit doors, signs overhead, disco lights on the floor lead each exit. Everybody gets a door prize in the seat back pocket in front of you along with 30 diapers, chewing gum wrappers, banana peels, and all that gives you leave for us time to It's a safety information card. Take it out, check it out. You'll notice in the highly unlikely event that the captain lands a snare a hot tub, everybody gets their very own teeny weeny yellow southwest bikini. One side splits off, take it out on lift shoulder to do so, place it over your head, wrap that strap around your waist, buckle it in front, pull the tight. One side side, pull down on the red tab, inflate to manually inflate below the tube at your shoulder. The flight students are coming by, hoping that you'll tell them how good looking they are. They're going to make sure that your seat backs and trays have everywhere in their full upright next to the most uncomfortable position possible. And your carry on items are crammed and shoved completely into the seat in front of you, leaving absolutely no room for your knees or feet. As you know, it's a no smoking, no whining, no complaining flight. It's a please and thank you, and you are such a good looking flight attendant flight. Smoking is never allowed on board a Southwest. If you're not smoking, the lavatory to find for that's $2,000, and if you want to pay that for your airfare, you should have loaned somebody else. <laughs> if we do make you that nervous in the next hour and a half, you're more than welcome to step outside. We don't discriminate the Southwest. We have a special smoking section just for you. We'll even show you a movie tonight. We have up in the air. And the flight attendant serving your name is Wendy, and her motto is, if you can lie to you, you can smoke it. Federal law proves tampering with the sable and destroying any smoke detector or webcam in either of our laboratories. Federal aviation regulation for our passenger compliance with a lot of passenger information signs and plastic placards, basically. Just do what we say and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> and although we never anticipate a loss in cabin pressure, if we did, we certainly wouldn't be at work tonight. But if needed, four lines to master off the compartment overhead. Stop screaming, let go of your neighbor, pull under that plastic tubing is fully extended, place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. To activate the flow of oxygen, simply insert 75 cents for the first minute and 50 cents for each of the Although that plastic bag may not inflate, you are receiving lots and lots of gin. <laughs> oxygen, that is. And if you're traveling with small children, we're sorry. <laughs> if you're traveling with more than one child, pick out the one that you think might have the most earning potential down the road. And if you're traveling with somebody needing very special assistance, like your husband, bless his heart, or your wife, put on your mask first. That's it for the news and don'ts of show and tell. Sit back and relax, or you can sit up and be tense. Either way, it's not a matter of fact. Game to game, the clock's already ticking. Seriously, if there's anything at all that we can do to make your flight more enjoyable, please tell us. Just as soon as we land in Salt Lake City. <laughs> and if there's anything you can do to make our flat more enjoyable, we'll tell you immediately. We're not shy in Southwest. That's what we call very cheap entertainment. Nobody had to pay extra, but you certainly don't get a refund. That's thanks for choosing Southwest. Welcome aboard.